always allowed to take seven. Yo, boys allowed, be back uh, with the boys. It's been a minute since we've been together. I know for you guys it doesn't feel like that, but for us it's been like a um, really long time. Yeah, man. We've been very busy, school, other things. Busy boys. Oh, yeah, busy <laughs> that boys. nature. Hey, bro. But we're here today with Talks, not a new face, and obviously you guys know the other two guys. You know. Talks again to you. <laughs> you know. Talks again. He's back on you guys. You guys on his episode, well. you guys were saying, well, bring him back. So, you know, we have him back. Really? Yeah. 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 I haven't seen this case. Why don't you back, my guy? So, <laughs> hey, man, I'll see so what's up and you shall receive, innit? Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And today we're having a controversial um, episode. So, yeah. We know you guys enjoyed it the last time. You guys must back. go check it out the first so one. Back. But yeah, before we proceed into that, to talk about the misbehavior in terms of the comment section so for some of you who don't know on the recent instagram by the way already has been dominating on the editing yeah shout out to him for that he's been cooking you know some consistency gotta show praise where it's needed you know what i'm saying shout out to you <laughs> boy. so yeah the yeah. youtube consistent viewers i don't need to talk to y'all i'm talking to the instagram viewers the tiktok viewers those who don't watch the whole episode yeah y'all the one i'm, I'm addressing y'all so um the new reel we spoke about um universities the episode was thinking about tertiary right bro mm. the comment section on instagram we got cooked i'm not gonna lie again but the thing is the comments is not bad it's just hate and me personally i was looking for comments starting like um you guys are not doing a good in a b and c but the hate is just ah they just hate it now yeah, i feel like you welcome guys... to welcome to short form content man yeah. i get this stuff all the time there was yeah. even a time that like some uk some guy in the uk stitched my video just to bash me and his whole audience what? his whole community came to mind started bashing 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 welcome yeah. to short form content like, what that's the welcome thing. to like, short form you guys watch you guys watch the small video mm. that we promote but you don't watch this exactly so and then you, you think and then like, they make we, assumptions based on that just, they they just conclude yeah, yeah just conclude honestly the whole episode yeah, yeah. That's, that's the life so. exactly that's so life. if you if you see the promotion video watch the full video these are more enjoyable these are longer honestly and you understand exactly then you're like <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, sorry, but you might comment something that makes more sense when you watch these than watching a 30 minute video. And be honest. And yeah. Yeah. Sure. You'll commit something that makes more sense. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But the good news is that the hate is not necessarily bad in terms of, for example, you're not addressing like um, you're speaking soft, just hating on the topic, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So that shows you're not doing anything bad necessarily, yeah. because I'm trying to say. Yeah. But I'm but, also going to. Nah, but yeah. we appreciate the people that watch these videos these full videos and comment and enjoy what we're doing and understand what we're doing and the, and 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 that like you know genuinely tap in and there are a few people that want to shout, shout out facts i'm gonna shout out our consistent uh, um comments commenters yeah. if that makes sense so yeah, yeah. shout out to uh all the commenters uh Reve, savina o2 mitchell mikhail and angel mm-hmm. don't and forget Teresa. Teresa. Mm-hmm. Teresa. yeah Special thoughts, y'all. Facts, facts. Like we did say, this is our controversial episode, so we're starting with our first controversial topic that we feel like must be discussed because some things happen in the world and we don't necessarily understand, or they happen, but then we just allow it to... Or sometimes it happens and it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So we're going to speak about it here right now. And yeah, Omelim wants to start with his controversial issue Yeah. that has to be discussed. So let us know. Facts. Okay. So in South Africa, for some reason... um. In South Africa. Yeah, in South Africa. Because I haven't traveled the world. So in South Africa, yeah. um, any race, expect the white race, of course, can say the N-word. You know what I'm saying? So my friend group, I have um, Khalids, I have Indians, and they say the N-word. Like, they dug me for like, yo, what's up, my... And I'm like, all right, fair play. But for me, it's like, bro, why is it so normalized? Dog? Like, mm. it, that's not supposed to be normalized because mm. it's a slur, if you mm. think about it. Yeah. It's like saying, what's up, the K-word. You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you think about it, but mm. it's just like, mm. bro... Nah, it's been it's my fault. Everyone's looking yeah, this way. Nah, 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 <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. yeah, yeah. No, I hear that. I hear that. Um, for me, I think it's mostly like the the whole thing of the only content that our parents' parents and our parents only consumed were like Western was like Western culture. Yeah. So it's like that N word and stuff. It you know permeates to us, mm. which now. It, Brings the question: Why don't we call each other the K word? What's up, Mike? Like you said. Yeah, if you think about yeah. it, like if you say the N word, then exactly because you say the K word outside, people will look at you so funny. Facts. What? Mm. Yeah. You think the N word? Exactly. And 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 when the, there's no difference between the two, 
where it's, just, it's, the, it's the same thing. So I don't it's know why one is more normalized. <clears throat> but then I guess, uh, like he said, Western culture, yeah, hip hop culture. Hip hop and all. They even when you look at it, like, even there in the States, they, mm. they put that word in their music. Mm. I don't think we have the guts to put the K word in, in our, our music. music. Mm. But yeah. why? Mm. Nah, but that's, you know, but why? Because you know what that word means, bro. So why mm. is it so okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, and that's the problem. Yeah. You understand? So, yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, I mean, bro, like, maybe for us it means something else because mm. when we receive it on the other side of the world, it's like, okay, the N word is like, you know, this is where we got it from by yeah. listening to music. Yeah. But <laughs> we know what the K means to us. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So we know very also, well that like we can't I, th- use I think it. maybe the N word may have like a, a more positive connotation because of how it was probably said normally by black people as like a protest or in, in order to like strike to say, hey, it's fine. You can call us a sweat, but it's fine. We're still people. Yeah. You see? So oh. either way, we'll say it because that's just us. We're going to normalize it between us. But we're still people. Like maybe it was like a strike or something. Whereas no one in SA has actually decided to like make it like a a a, a movement or anything. Be like, hey, what's up, my K word? Because it's not yeah. normal. It's not Facts. normal. Yeah, so that's true. why maybe like semantically that that word, uh, the the K word may have a more aggressive and more negative connotation. Yeah, that's why more or less we don't mm. use it. Mm. But the N word, I mean, um, I think it's also the intention. Because I know some guy, um, he works close to my area. He doesn't know my name. He's like, what's up, my you know, and I don't know his name, so I'm like, what's up, my? <laughs> like, it's never have a conversation where I get to know your name, but yeah. he just calls me that. Mm-hmm. And it's an intention. He's not trying to hurt me, but I don't think people even use it as a thing to hurt you. Then mm-hmm. you just say it as like, yo, bro, right, so those it's, are yours. It's in our daily vocabulary. Because right. I'm not gonna sit here and act like um, you don't say. I it. don't use that word. Yeah, I use it, bro. 100%. I don't use it like a lot, but I use it like, mm. bro. I use the word. You sing in lyrics, you say it. You yeah, talk into your homie, you, you say it. it. Like but even any change, you call it any change. You just call like a change like is an N word, basically. Yeah, mm. like the, the milk, the milk. even white. Yeah. Even if he's even if he's white, even if he's white, he's, 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 he's an N word. Because yeah. that word doesn't mean exactly. black. It means change. But the thing is, like, <laughs> is that your essay or is it all over now? Is it's it all, all over the world? I think it's all over. I think it's a global thing. So so it's just a thing that like white white people cannot say that. But now, and and because now my people can say it, everyone yeah, can say it, bro. No, but the thing is that you know how deep it is when they say it in mm, the states. Yeah, yeah. Mm, facts. Mm, mm, but no. I'm saying like, okay, okay, it's fine. But even if you as a black person, you can refer to that white person as, look at that white nigga. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. what do you mean he's not black? Yeah. <laughs> he's but, but, so like, like, so but, even, so even like. Black girls are not even involved in this. Yeah, thing I've, I've, yeah. Never, I've never called her honey the N-word before. Yeah. I've never. It's more or less for gents. Yeah. Oh, no, they're always calling me that, though. Bro, yeah, I mean, it's like for gents. It doesn't mean it's for gents. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But then how do you black. feel about Indians and color saying it? They should just stop saying it. I don't know why they're even getting comfortable. Like, <laughs> yeah, maybe, 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 you know, because what they understand is like, okay, it's it's, it's like a gender. Like, now it's mm. all the gents are called the N-word. Yeah. That's where it comes from. Mm. You get what mm. I'm saying? Because even when they construct a sentence, yo, that guy over there, mm. they would use the N word. Yeah. You know, it's not like they're trying to be insulting by saying like N word like, to you. Yeah. You see, so I think it's the context of how they use that word. Yeah, the intention. That doesn't it's, make it's, it. It's, and that is an insult. intention. Yeah, yeah, it's the intention. And really said that they must stop. In my opinion, I think it's chai. Because if every artist stop. you're listening to, it's, mm. it's a chai. Bro, mm. I, I know even why people on their own, they said. Because no way you're going to listen to whoever, Kendrick, whatever, and you're going to skip it. You're not going to blow. You're also listening to the word. For me, I think, I wouldn't really mind if a a white person was to call me the N-word because I think it's more of an intention thing. If I can feel that it's like malicious intent, Mm. then like, uh, it's going to be an issue. But... You'll you'll, you'll beat him. I won't beat him. (laughs) (laughs) I won't beat him. But like, I think what I will do is... um, I don't know, I'll just address it and be like, hey, I don't feel comfortable with you calling me that. You know? 100%. But um, most of the time, I think it's more of an intention thing. Because mm. most of the times, it's just, it just means buddy or what's up, my yeah. boy, my mm. dog. Yeah, it's, it's an intention thing. So I think one thing about intention is not everyone can know what your intention is mm. whenever yeah. you do something. So it's like you need to be able to have that that stable relationship with mm. someone in order to know that intention. Because yeah. otherwise, you're just going to assume because you don't know that person. And I said, and I said mm. you'll beat him as a jerk. Me personally, mm. when it comes to words, I know words have the power to mend and break. Yeah. But me personally, if someone were to push me and say, what are you going to do, N-word? Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's different. But, 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 that's but disrespect. Like, I, but I remember when the situation you've been, I've been in a time where like, there was this guy, and, uh, yeah. he was Indian. He, yeah. said, he said N-word to me. I'm like, hey, why are you calling me that? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, must I call you a B? I'm like, so he, in his mind, 
is N word is like a gender, like gens. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So then it's like, oh, must I call you the B word? And you know what the B word is. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I'm like, female, yeah. okay, maybe that's that's where he got it from. That's yeah. his understanding of the N word. Mm. You understand? So mm. I don't want to condone it. If you use it right, I guess. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys were talking about like how Indian people and uh, kind of people. people shouldn't say it because it's not part of their history and all that. But it's not part of our history either. Mm. Mm. That's South African. That's, that's South yeah. African. That's that's boss. That's yeah. boss. Yeah. It isn't. By your argument, you have no right to say it. Well, yeah. Because Facts. I mean, even colored people, they only exist here in SA. Mm. Cut. Everywhere else, I'm yeah. black. Well, no, 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 they, 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 they mix call, people they exist just, everywhere. But they just don't we accept them. We call them colored in South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in Zimbabwe, it's just that in America, yeah. they don't accept them. For example, mm. the um, Tyler. Tyler situation, Tyler, right? Yeah, yeah. I was reading a tweet. Someone was like, bro, she calls herself colored. No, she's South Asian. And I'm like, no, South no she's Asian. not South Asian, <laughs> bro. You see, because like, in our country, it's accepted. But yeah. in others, it's not for some weird reason. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. I think because, at the, I, right, mm. it, um, in, in America, that side... Colored means bl- color, like yeah. black, mm. like mm. you're of color. Mm. South Africa, colored means like a mixed, you're mixed. Yeah. So there's, and black here is just black, white mm. is just white, whatever. Yeah. But I, th- I, yeah, think, I don't know, bro. I think we, did, we should all just have like a, a, a whole global re education of the word and the words and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's probably other countries where they have like very derogatory terms to call like people of other colors yeah. in terms of like countries that have been like colonized or whatever. You know, but I think it's mostly just a re-education thing. Mm. Uh, and I want to go my far. I want to go back to you. Think it's right for you to be upset or mm. have an emotional um, reaction if someone calls you that word. I don't think necessarily. Not, yeah, no, I don't really. think so. Not, not really. No. Bro, but like, no, wait, no. It it you don't have to because it's normal. But is it okay? No, it's not. What, to not right. have a reaction? To, no, is it okay to like that, that we actually still call each other? Is it okay? Is it okay that me as a black young South African can look at another black young South African and be like, yo, what's up, man? Yeah. No, it's not okay. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's normal, but it's not okay. Mm. You understand? Mm. I feel like that's the only problem with it, bro. And it's just this thing of like, I wouldn't say we've, the world has accepted like Western culture or Western culture has been amplified so much that it's just like everywhere. Like we know how powerful America is and whatever, but it's like, mm. yeah, it's even with things like the N-word, bro. Like why are we having this conversation as South Africans? Like, yeah. Yeah. you know, mm-hmm. that word has because, nothing because, like, attached to us here. Exactly. Mm. You because understand? as black South Africans, if we can say the Indians and the colors can use can it, we, can we use also can use sense. it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, then you're going to say, no, but I can use it because I'm black. Bro, no, no one can use it. <laughs> yeah. Like no one can. <laughs> you <laughs> understand? No one actually can use it, bro. It's yeah. not not okay like it's not so i don't know bro and the thing that makes it confusing about the animal is that depending on your pronunciation of saying er or a mm. i need to go to that because now some people can say a lot of the hot r yeah there's one yeah. of the hot r that one is like <laughs> you do damage if you say there's, there's, there's a whole boondocks yeah. clip yeah, yeah. there's a whole boondocks yeah. clip yeah. 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 see the one that says like my nigga my yeah. nigga it's yeah. yeah. fine oh no it's not fine but, but it's, it's not. Nice. It's like but it's better. For me, it's hard to tell the difference, yeah. bro. Like, mm. if someone's trying to say to me, I'm like, how do, I don't know, based on the intention, I'm assuming you're saying with an A. But mm. how do I know if you're saying with ER? If you're trying to press me, then I'm assuming you're saying with ER. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. But you see, like, you yeah, see, you see how weird. Kid. See how weird this conversation is, because like but now, because now you you thinking is he saying with the hard R or is he mm. saying with the A? Do you think in but, South Africa it'll be normalized to the point where rappers in their own music will start using the K word? No, no, no. The I don't think it's ever gonna bro. get. Like, yeah, you cannot say no, it's like not, it's not different. It's, it's, it's not different. It's the, not different. The semantic no, value is different. Yeah, yes. the semantic yeah, value yeah. is different. The semantic it's not, value it's not is different. different. Like, like the K word is not worse than the N word. No, there's no such. It's the same bad, bro. It's both bad. There's yeah. no one that's like bad. But how it came about, they are different. It's the, no, the the people who colonized the American black slaves in America use that the n-word just like how the colonizers who colonized the black south africans use the k-word it's not it didn't come about differently bro it came about the same there's no difference the thing black, is the, the main black, intention for the word was to refer to people in a degradable manner man to, to yes, yes, yes. To, to by their colonizers like, okay, not by themselves there's a difference that, that was the reason that the word was made made in the up first place. yes yeah Okay, guys, so now the next controversial topic that I want to actually discuss with the fellas here. Um, and, like, you guys can hear our background, guys, also. So, listen, to them, too, guys. <laughs> They're part of these conversations as well, as well as you guys. So, now we're going into um, abortion. <laughs> now, listen, bro. 
And you spoke about this on um, the second episode of the first female episode in season one. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We spoke so you guys can check catch bit. that episode actually. What was it? What episode was it? Episode uh, four. Probably, uh, if I can take a guess, seven. Yeah, episode seven, six, eight, around the around there. Yeah. Anyways, you guys should go check that episode out. But yeah, we want to speak about abortion. Um, <laughs> it's not even um, <laughs> you guys want to say this the way that he's doing it. <laughs> nah, I don't, why is he saying it? Nah, we already spoke about it's this off camera, so really, um, well, not as usual, but we kind of know where we stand on it in terms of murder mm. or not. So, we're not going to talk about that, mm. right? Because mm. we already know amongst ourselves what we think. Mm. But I'm just curious in terms of, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to your response in terms of, I have a say, especially as I'm here. I want to listen to that. So, mm. so if, um, you guys have to come across a situation where you're with someone who wants to abort. Some people would say it's killing your potential life, your potential you're child. killing a potential life. Yeah, yeah, a potential life. How do you guys, how would you guys take it? Wait, if I have a say. But, 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 she's not giving you an option. She's just telling you. Wait, she's mm. telling you, wait, wait. Is it, is it based on, like, is it, she's telling me she's gonna uh, abort or she's telling me she's gonna keep abort. No, she's telling you, no she's telling you she's gonna abort oh but she's not asking you care do you mm. she's telling you i mean telling you. because i write it her body so okay in my opinion it's a thing of if if we can see in life we are not so where we want to be I, well, <laughs> yeah, <okay>. uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. if nah, you can see bro, we can't bury like, okay. there's look, there's but look. like but like like yeah, that's yeah. what i'm saying like let the, see, it gives the me thing two is, questions like how would you feel like if she says she would keep it? Which one would you prefer, basically? Keep, bro. Keep. I mean, under, under any circumstances. Bro, no matter how long. I mean, it's going to be tough, yeah. bro. But then... Keep, bro. It's my responsibility, bro. I don't care. That's, that's what I was, that's what what I was also going to say. Yeah. It's like, it, it takes two, Doug. At the same... Literally, like, bro. See, here's the thing. If she was to tell me that, like... If I know that I don't want to have a kid. And she's like, hey, I'm going to have this kid. Facts. So now I'm like, ish... See, I'll tell her what my standpoint is on it. I'll be like, okay, I hear you, but I'm not at the point right now where I think I'll be able to sustain that. However, at the same time, that doesn't mean I'm going to be a deadbeat. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's, to some extent, it is sort of like biased to her, to like what yeah. she has to say, because <clears throat> at least my chat is at least she knows what I think of it. That's, mm. that's my main point. Mm. But either or, I still decided to engage in that action. I still decided to make that baby. Yeah. You see, so but I have to take responsibility for my actions. Yeah. Me, okay, we're all, we're all different people, right? But mm. you mentioned um, I, I'm not currently in the situation that I'd like to be in, right? Something along those lines, not word mm. for word. Mm. Why are you having sex, lads? <laughs> Let's be a, why though. Uh, I mean, because it's a possibility. Do that for pleasure, bro. Yeah, but mm, the thing is, so... in my in my opinion, I view, and it's nothing wrong, bro. We all have, all have different opinions, right? I personally view sex before marriage as a type of impatience, right? Mm. Because you, depending, I don't know if you find your love early and whatever, but then if you know that, um, it could potentially happen, then, bro, I don't think you should be doing it then. Because I'm not saying you you can take safety precautions and all of that, right? True, it's possible, yeah. mm. but I'm just saying that if two parties are gonna come together, you should know that there's a potential that this could happen, right? Mm. And if that thought scares you so much, then maybe it shows that you're not mature to have it. Whether you have sex before marriage, that's you. I don't really have a concern. But if you guys are both afraid about that thought, that you're not, this could potentially happen, then it shows you're not mature yet to be having sex before marriage, in my opinion. Even if you're married or what, that's my opinion. Mm. Okay, I agree with you, man. the most amazing before sex analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I agree. Don't with even lie, he's cooking. Yeah. I agree with you, and you're cooking, bro. <laughs> but the reality is that people are not. Hey, boy, yeah. don't people like risks. Yeah. So, yeah. unfortunately, people don't. And consider I, and I, and that. Yeah, unfortunately, people don't, really people consider don't consider group that. being married and having a baby. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 just because we're married, we don't have to have a baby. <laughs> like, that doesn't mean yeah, anything some, anymore. Yeah, like, and you know, that's the unfortunate part 58% of the abortions in South Africa are illegal. So, that tells me that people are not ready then if they're illegal. You see? So but I like tell now, you now, everything now, you need to know. The issue maybe we, we can try and address is we understand people were wrong to taking the action in the first place. Yeah. Right? Now, discussing the after effect of that action, mm. which is abortion. You as a guy, do you think you may have a right? Even you, you guys know you made a mistake. Yeah. Mm. But now a decision needs to be made. Mm. Mm. That's life. What's happening? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So now as, as, as James, you think like you have a say. 
Mm. Like, mm. if you have to say, good, nah, let's keep it. Mm. Or it's like, nah, 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 let's do, let's abort or something. Mm. Mm. But there's also disadvantages mm. as well, my fault. Um, The child may have a poor standard of living, all of that. But for me, that's just way better than the other option, in my opinion. As tough as it may be, I'd rather take that responsibility than knowing that, you know, mm. I went the other route. Mm. As and long as I took accountability for my actions, actions then yeah. I'd be okay. Me personally, I think... I would, re- I would regret. In fact, I, th- I think I would hate myself mm. knowing that I did something I didn't take accountability for it. Mm. Mm. You see? Because yeah. I did that. It's me. It's my son. It's my daughter. Yeah. You see? But it's so, so, okay. Makes sense. You see? And if my partner feels <laughs> that she's not ready, it's fine. I'll single mm. parent then. So as, hard, as, not... as hard as it will be, I know it's going to be mm. difficult. I'm not taking mm, away, definitely. shout out all the single mothers and fathers out there. I know it's difficult, but I would sleep peacefully at night knowing that I took that decision, mm. in my opinion. Yeah, bro. Mm. Same. You so sleep peacefully at night. Yeah, bro, me, I, I value my sleep, bro. After nine months, I'm going to sleep But I don't know, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, because yeah, like, Are you going to be thinking, what, thinking what, what was I thinking? Yeah. Yeah. I know, it will be tough, bro. Yeah, but guys, we're not even saying go and have sex. Like, no, we're not saying that. We're just saying, like... Hey, bro, just be accountable <laughs> if you do your own things, bro. You know what you're doing, bro. Just be accountable. Like, hey, bro, this hey. trap for a reason goes to the garage or something. And also, it's the trap or just like, even like that because, like, yeah. not everything is 100%. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Even says, and yeah, the yeah, thing is, but there's other the contexts in terms of my the R and all of that. My issue is that, yeah. like, I hear you guys are saying that, like, you guys want to have a say yeah. in, like, the, the, the whole abortion thing. Yeah. Mm. But mm-hmm. me personally, hey, it's her body, yo. Aye, bro, aye, aye. I'm always on that chat, like, yo, aye, bro. it's her body. Bro. Aye, no. bro, aye. Yo, you, you will suffer the biggest consequences of saying good to in. This is what you decided to do with her. The consequence you're going to suffer is that majority of, so, of the decisions are not up to you. Why? Dog, it's her body, bro. <laughs> so my, that, my, I'm saying that, okay, you will yeah. be here at home, <sighs> right? You here at home. She's there at her house. You're not with her. And you say, yeah, let's, let's do it. You guys both know that you guys are not... No, you're not with her. You're still staying with your parents. Mm. 90% of the chances... She, 90% of the <laughs> things, she's doing it. You're doing 10. So now you think you must have majority of the decision. Mm. Mm, no, not, not majority of the decision. But my say in the whole matter must be considered. highly considered right. as well. Right. No, no, highly considered. Yeah. yeah. But you you understand, Guti, at the end of the day, the decision is whose? It is concerted. Ours, it's concerted. Ours, yeah. It's ours. Well, mm. one, 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 it's ours. Well, one is saying abort, one is saying not. It's our decision. But at the end of the day, one, we need to choose one, one yeah, decision. It's, it's, mm. yeah. We need to choose one decision yeah, and yeah. which one is going to matter the most. Mm. Before, before you and, saying okay, which yeah. one will matter the most. It Dep- yeah. depends on... Um, and and I guess at that point, it would exactly. depend on... Yeah. Mm. You need to understand which one would matter the most. You understand you, you want to consider yourself, but which decision would matter the most. Mm. Mm. So, so yeah, so let's, let's look at a situation whereby oh. she wants to keep it. Keep it as I see all of us here, we would say, yeah, we can keep it. But like, me personally, if I'm not ready, I got it. I, <laughs> I'm not ready. So yeah. now, who, how, 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 if she decides to keep it, that's what she decided to do. Mm. Yes, yeah, she considered my decision, but she decided to keep it, bro. Mm. Now, I still need to suffer the consequences of taking responsibility to take care of that child because she decided to keep it. And, you know, it, it paints an even worse picture because, for example, um, you looked at the bad guy. But, for example, let's say you wanted to keep it. Now, you're not, she's not necessarily looked at the bad guy. But when you, when she wants to keep it and you don't, and you no, go do I your think, own thing, later in life, they paint you as, hey, I think, you left her alone. Yeah, I All think it's, because, guys, I think it's it is care, surrounding bro. this thing of it's her body, it's her body. Because mm. if... She wants to abort, but you want to keep the child. It's her body. Mm-hmm. If she wants to keep the child, but, but you, you want, want to abort, it's, it's her, her body. body. <laughs> That's the problem. Ah, it's her body. But bro, how bro, is that a it's, it, No, bro. Like, it's always it's about the, her body. No, the thing is, it's her body, but like, our child. Huh, it's exactly, it's her body, but it's our child. Bro, but, okay, but, so but, sorry. We're so sorry. Let's make you carry babies. So, so let's, 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 make let's, 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 let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's make carry babies. Then. Hey, sorry. Let's like, be honest, bro. Are you, we know let, you carry the child. Sorry, woman, do it here on planet Earth. Exactly. So, carry the child. You carry the child. 
No, I don't. But that's what I'm saying. Sorry, men, men, is, men carry the sometimes child. Sometimes you will find that the mistake that you'll find, she's not even, con like, she may consider your decision, but you'll find that she knows how she's going to go about her life already. You'll mm. say, oh, abort. But it's like, no, it's fine. I have a good family. We'll take care. I don't need you there. What about that situation? Mm -hmm. But you are like, nah, abort. Mm -hmm. But she knows, ah, I value you. I can't value you. You're going to no, say, nah. You wanna say no, but, no, but, but these, these these decisions are made in the current time. When time when life gets difficult, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, time because, will tell. Yeah, but but, 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 but you know what my problem is, ne? Yeah. Um, and it's not like a problem or whatever, or whatever. But like the only thing issue I have with this whole thing is just that, like, okay, bro, I understand a girl can come from even a well off family. You're not that well off, whatever. She can come up with all these things, like, no, I'll keep the child, or I wanna abort the child because of all these reasons. Bro, the, the, the reasons can even be good. Okay, sharp. I get it. I won't dispute it. It's fine, bro. So that, that's but, the, but the problem is the the way, like I wouldn't say the like the the way they just get a uh, gent every time. It's always at the end of the day, you can't tell me it's my body. That's their last line, bro. Mm. That's their last line that they always have. At the end of the day, it's my body. You can't tell me what to do with my body. And you don't like what? The, you don't but like, like that line. My, my child is. I'm bro. not telling you what to do with think your of, body. Think, it's my child as well. Listen, listen. No, that's the thing. You're saying it's your child as well. But you are from the perspective of you wanting to keep the child. What about the lesson, bro? Even if one, what about the guy who wants to abort? I'm saying even if I want to abort the child, she's still gonna say it's my body. I understand that because it's the woman's body. Yeah. Um, she might she wanna do what she wants to do with the child, right? Whatever, that's fine. Um, even though it's my child as well, um, she will do whatever because it's her body. It's mm -hmm. your body. <laughs> but that's why I say, bro. Even if, and and that's fine. It's your body. Um, but even if I wanted to, even if me as the, the father, I wanted to abort the child, it's your body. Even if I wanted to keep the child, it's your body. It's always your body. So that means when, when it's, when it's between, so in my, I'm concluding it as when it comes to me and a woman potentially having a child at some stage mm -hmm. in my life, at some point, it's only her choice. I have no say because it's her body. So that's what you guys are saying. At the, at the end of, no, 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 no. Look, at, think, the, at, at the end of the day. Me, me having a child, me ever bringing a life onto this earth is going to be only be up to her because it's her body. And and that's the reality. That's what I'm concluding. I'm not asking you, mm, gents. I'm, okay, I'm just saying I'm case, concluding case, it. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. It's always going to be up to her, bro. Yeah. And like, I don't think that's 100% okay, but it's fine. Okay, so we kind of concluded mm. and we hear each other out. Why do you guys let but us know in the comment section, though? 100%, 100%. Um, let's just more, let's just, um, sorry. Okay, I got it. Okay, so let's talk to the male viewers out there who are currently in a situation where they have a child mm. and they're not necessarily doing well at the best points or stage in their lives. Our advice for them, or not advice, encouragement, that you're not, we acknowledge they struggle, but I don't think the answer is running away or leaving the child with um, the mother. I'm not, hey bro, I'm in a good position, but I'm not saying as a thing of, um, I'm lowering your standpoint. I'm just saying from a moral aspect of it, bro. I don't think a child deserves to come into this world without having both parties, you know? Mm. So it's a thing of um, taking responsibility and doing what you can do. I think, bro, there's no gift you can offer than presence. If you're just there alone, then that just removes all the other gifts you can offer. And once times get better, what? Some some people are present in the wrong ways, eh? Okay, yeah, but yeah, okay. In, in this in this context, let's talk like about the good presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Let's talk like about the good presence, not the abusive presence, but mm. the good presence. Mm. But this is more or less my. Maybe you say impact, a good impact. Impact, right. fair mm. play, yeah. Because it's not like I have to stay with you every day with your mom when we broke off things a long time ago. Mm. Yeah, just like, like an impact, impact. Yeah, just an impact. impact. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, but yeah, facts, yeah. yeah, that's true. I just think it's rare. I haven't had any good story in terms of um, someone who has a good, uh, someone who's yeah has a good relationship with their, their father, father because um based off impact. Yeah, I've mm. never. I have. I have had a good. <coughs> story. I, have, I haven't. Yeah, me personally. Yeah. But yeah, but like, I guess, but like, I guess, also, I guess also there's people, one. There's, yeah. I guess some people had it. Uh, some people presence weighs more than impact. Some impact. Some people impact presence. more than that. It like yeah, for me. Mm. But like but the like, thing is, the thing is though, either or, impact does come out on top because. You basically teach your yeah, kids. Yeah, you can just be there. And as a, as a timer, you, know. you teach your kids what a man is and what it means to be a man. <laughs> as a brother, you as teach man, your sister, man, your little sisters. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As a brother, you yeah. teach your sisters. Yeah. This is how a man should treat you. This is how, you see, 100%. things like that. Because mm. they take that into the real world because that's what they grew up around. Mm. So you teach them that thing. Bro, facts. So, so now the problem is, 
that that's the problem with the whole fatherless child thing because it's like mm. they don't really know that much based on their surroundings however mm. they see externally not internally, internally. internally. and the thing is you see I'm, I'm, i apologize for my mistake earlier on Drizzle mentioned talks mentioned good presence you know that in the united states of america alone 81 percent of the men who physically assault their wives have watched their fathers physically assault their mother or have been assaulted themselves mm. so that's why um that's what the impact the good impact is more or less important because mm. same thing for me the <clears throat> the males in my life um they can get me whatever but the things that they have taught me the wisdom for my grandfather my uncles and my fathers mm. what makes me the man i am mm. today you mm. understand yeah. so that's why correcting my so but, impact, another, thing, but, but really, another thing i also want to speak about is that like don't just like Yes, I understand some fathers need to come to the party, right? Mm. Yeah. But there are some fathers out there who have kids. They don't know they have kids because there are mm. some women out there that who hit know it. that, that hit it I know this father is a deadbeat. I'll lie to this guy over here that, yo, oh, this is your kid, but it's not your kid. You need to, you need to understand that, there. like... Uh, those allegations, bro. Yeah, you yeah. See, there's those allegations, you get what I'm saying? So it's a matter of there are fathers out there who don't know that they have kids right mm. but for those who do hey man may, impact is what we go for you 100%. understand i think impact mm. if you know because at the end of the day your presence could be like yeah seeing them maybe like weekends or something but impact at least just help with maintenance mm. be there show up mm. you know pay for school fees mm. pay for groceries if your mom is struggling stuff yeah. like that 100 yeah yeah moving on to Maybe good news, right? <laughs> good you know, you know, when we look at women, right? It's all about you need to be beautiful. If you want, you need to be beautiful. You know, physically, you must take care of yourself, you know, make sure you have nice hair, beautiful skin. Mm. But for guys, yeah. ah, <laughs> a man's beauty is his wealth. Physical, mm. ah, it's a bonus. Or the bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, true, true. Hundred mm. yeah. percent. So yeah, so I was just having this thing that like, you know, uh, we cannot like we're not the same in that aspect. Like we're like you know I'm taking care of myself. Yeah, like as a man, it's always good to take care of yourself, right? Mm. Mm. Okay. But like, you you we kind of think like nah, Mary's one like the handsome guy and like, mm. but nah, you just need to have that nah M four there, you know, Range Rover, mm. mm. you know, for yeah, you a couple to of M's. Couple M's, of M's, M's is crazy. Yeah, yeah but that thing, but that thing is slowly, M, nah, but that nah. thing is slowly changing though. That's the thing. It's slowly M's. changing, especially with things like TikTok running around. You what see do you these, mean? these these TikTok F boys? Doing these, these the, like, you know, no, the thirst trappers, the thirst trappers. The thirst trappers. <laughs> it's changing, dog. Cause now, yeah. now let's turn, but see, hi, OP. Like, it's like, yeah, because I'm lost. It's like, it's like, I'm lost. I'm lost. It's like, OP. It's it's like they're basically saying, hi, where can I find you? Oh, you know, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's real. Where can I find you? So it's like that stigma is slowly running away, but I don't know. The thing it just keeps switching though. I think though, in my opinion, yeah, the main thing is just I like it's your 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 character is going to make is gonna make you because we're in an age right now where not yeah. everyone has a very unique character to themselves. Everyone wants to be someone. Everyone's trying to be someone. Yeah, you even see it in a lot of things, even like fashion. A yeah. lot of people, you go outside, everyone's dressing the same. It's like yeah, mm-hmm. you know, true. You know, people say they're saying the same things. Everyone has the same idea type, on type, type you know, <laughs> yeah, you know, shit. even things like that. It's type cock, easy. So, but back on the on the money thing, my fault. You know, um, I don't think he's a doctor, but on his YouTube channel, he has a um, YouTube channel name is Doctor Charles Apoki. I, I can't pronounce his name properly. Mm. He says he has this quote. Uh, look at this guy. He has, nah, uh, nah. <laughs> he has um, uh, what's this? He says. You can feed a woman for five years, seven months. I mean, seven. I fumbled the code. You can feed a woman for five years, seven years. But if she feeds you for five months, the whole world will know. Same way of. And I'm like, <laughs> what does that, that mean? Like, when I heard that code, I was watching YouTube yes. video and I was like, damn. He's, I, I can't relate. I don't really understand the but code. It's, but it's very different, though. 
Yeah, wait, first wait, of all, wait, wait, first of all, nah, not not, not yeah, feeling, not even feeling, because yeah. of course, like your wife is gonna cook yeah, for you. I mean, like, of course, your wife is gonna cook for you. That's what I understand. But no, I'm assuming think... he's talking about it in terms of money, yeah, because it's the YouTube um title is saying things your father didn't tell you. Mm. So the everything he's talking about in that video is that as a man, if you don't have money, right, you cannot expect every single woman to respect you. Even your children. He says that your children could even possibly draw closer to your mother, mm. right? So. From, from watching this guy's video, I'm like, I, bro, I can't really say I, I relate because I'm still young. I don't have a wife and all of that. But I do understand it because at my age, I can see how my mates that have money mm. or have their parents' money do, on the softer side, get more attraction from females. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So I do think, um, I mean, it's not normal to value money, but it is kind of normal or normalized from the female gender to value money from the male gender and yeah. associated with their beauty. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Because it says a lot. It speaks about how she, she she's going to be protected, how she's going to be taken care of. Mm. Because now it's that thing with, hey, I mean, if I'm going to go for a guy who's handsome, I'm going to compete for that mirror for both of us to look good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's that thing, like... <laughs> That's crazy. They, they look at that in that aspect. And then for yeah. you as a gent, you're like, yo, bro, just be beautiful. Mm. You understand? It's not like... <clears throat> I yo, I mean, uh, it's, it's, a, it's honestly a lot of things because number one, it's mainly the person that you're with. It's like, Thanks. is that a person that like can be like, okay, I got you, you know? Mm. And another thing is... <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, now you can mm. <laughs> But now, another thing is, Lewena, you're also sitting at home, you're a bum, you don't have a plan. Yeah. Yeah, how bum. do you expect... <laughs> yeah, I get it. Lewena, it's like, how do you even expect to like... Even be able to like sustain that relationship 100%. when you know that you don't even have a plan. Yeah. Mm. So it's like I think it's mostly it's mainly a thing of he has a plan. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm taking care of him as the woman in the relationship, but I know he has a plan, and I'm gonna stick by him because I trust him. Yeah. Mm. See things uh, like but that. Some women are not patient. You know, women are. Yeah, hey. but you see, I I just believe that that's the whole uh, baddie thing, thing that's yeah. that's yeah. becoming popularized. Facts. Where you know. I don't know. It's it's yeah. there, you, you know? know. The thing is, like, you know, with what you're saying, you know, like, bro, the maidies, you know, <laughs> when they grow up, they realize that, hey, there's more to <clears throat> life than just like, right. yeah, you right. understand? Right. So, yes, you want a, a woman who's independent, who makes her own money, but you as a gent, don't lie to yourself. Beauty is the first thing that comes first. Facts. Beauty brings me there, but who she is keeps me there. Keeps me there. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah it brings yeah, you there, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it will, it will keep you there. Mm. Yeah. But for gents, it's the, 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 the wealth you have mm. will bring her there, and, and then the beauty will keep her there, maybe. I don't think it's the beauty that keeps yeah, her I don't think it's the beauty. It's, the ma like it's, it's you that keeps her there. For real? Yeah. Mm. For sure, oh, 100%. Because it's, it's sometimes it's like, the problem is, um, I get that they, they want the money that's there, nah? Yeah. But then at the same time, it's going to be a problem when the guy identifies himself with his wealth. It's mm. not you. It's just money. Like you. I get that you built it. It's your legacy and all that stuff. But it's not you. Yeah. It's the same thing with the guys um, that identify with their follow accounts, the guys that identify with their heights, things like that. Yeah. You see, it's not you. Yeah. You're just identifying with something that's just very superficial. It's, yeah. it's just not you. Yeah. So now when they get into that relationship and they're like, oh, I get this guy is like, he has money. He's like 6'5". It's okay. But now is that all there is to him? Yeah, we had bro. Easy. Sorry, guys. At worst, though, <clears throat> get to a point where those things even mask problems. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's the money. It's forward. It's mm, forward. Mm, mm. But he's abusive. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. So now that's, that's why I mainly say, I've even said this on my channel. With when it comes to like measuring, should I say measuring value when it comes to people and the people that I want to keep around, I would rather look at you based on what I can't take away from you. Yeah. I can take away your followers. I can take away your, your clothes. I can take away all of that stuff. Nigga, your but lips what could I can't go and take away your height. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You don't exactly. <laughs> but what can I? Yeah, like the things. Point. But yeah. it's like the things that I Bro. can't take away from you. Like, yeah. do you have yeah. ambition? Yeah. Do you have a plan? Are you a loyal person? Things yeah, like that. Those qualities and characteristics. Exactly, exactly. Th <laughs> yeah. Those are the things that matter to me. Yeah. And that, that's what I think I, sh yeah. I should see that matters to 
um you see <laughs> but, but, yeah, okay, but sense, i get yeah. but then from your perspective though i get the thing of she doesn't even know me yet so Something mm-hmm. has to attract her at the mm-hmm. at the as first. As long as you understand, exactly, you have to understand. It. You can be Something that guy. has to attract. Her. I'm a good guy. I'll mm, take mm, it. Mm, but mm. for as long as you're a good guy, if you have nothing, if to you have advertise, nothing to right, if you have nothing to advertise, hundred percent. You, you can't always be a good guy or yes man. Yeah, you can't. So even yeah. in the relationship, now we're not like speaking in the aspect mm. of like being nice or whatever. We're just speaking like like what he's saying, like having a, a good personality, being like a good guy. Yeah. You understand? Is that thing of you can be there. But mm. you would find you like there's still a chance that you won't still have any girl coming to you because mm-hmm. you don't show that your mm. this girl's gonna be taken care of or she's right. gonna be provided. Because I like think that. the whole dating game thing, it's all marketing. It's all just marketing. Yeah, how you market yourself right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. how you market yourself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. they look at your Instagram. Yourself. They stalk like things like that. It's all marketing now. Yeah. Mm. We can ask it. When was the last time you dated a girl that you DM'd? That's, that's Me personally, I don't so. do DMs. Nah, well, like, yeah. like, like, see, that's that's real. That's I real. Yeah, yeah. Nah, cause, cause, I've, cause I've been with girls. She was my girlfriend, but it started off a DM, and then that girls I've dated, but it was like I met her real life. In real life, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I thought I thought Instagram removed the whole thing of DMs by adding that you can like someone's story feature. Bro, no. Me, me, me. You it still have to send that. that hey, that, you that still have to. <laughs> you're gonna have to that send that. Hey, that I'm, I'm interested in investing, bro. If you think about. So what is she supposed what? to do now? What? Huh? What is she supposed to do? What did you say? Investing, like, bro. Like, like, bro. Like, no, but bro, there's a lot of people investing there, though. Hey, facts. There's competition. Like, you like, there's a lot of people investing. It's like that's why RL is way better. This thing, this whole I mean, this DM. whole dating thing now, it's, it's a business now at this point. That's what I said. There's not this competition, there's mm. investing, there's these you have to market yourself. Like, it honestly is it's like a business because your image now on this on social yeah. media is like a business. business. Because my chat is like if, if you want to DM it's because maybe you met in real life. Mm, mm. Or maybe like you doing something that's big on Instagram, and she's mm. also doing something big on Instagram. Then it's like, yo, let's DM each other for this content. Mm. But we know what content we're gonna go into. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like it's business vibes, and then but bro, if you're just a guy in jail who's just like, mm-hmm. bro, like you're not dead, yeah. and you wanna DM, yeah. Mm. And then just good like good luck, good luck, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and then Break to, it. to just to change the the flow, how do you guys read? Do you guys still think Lobola is irrelevant or relevant? Sorry, no, I think Lobola is relevant. Dog. You think it's relevant? Yeah, I believe in Lobola. Really? I, I I think like because. Bro, like, in my opinion, eh, I, 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 I won't, my understanding, I'm going to speak in my understanding, yeah. right? Don't, don't come bash me, tell me I'm wrong. Hey, I said, it's my own opinion. Yeah. Ne? Mm-hmm. I feel like... It's his opinion, bro. It's my opinion. <laughs> I feel like Lobola is good, ne? in a sense that, like, a guy should work hard and show mm. that he's serious. Yeah. <clears throat> to take care of the person he loves. Yeah. I don't think it comes easy. Yeah. Or free, mm. in my opinion. People have this thing of love comes free and all of that. Certain, to a certain extent, you need to work for it to prove that yeah. you're willing to okay. take care of it. You understand? So I still believe that it can be there. And also for the woman, it's a matter of like it it like it creates you, you it creates value for them mm. in a sense that be a decent girl for you to attract a decent guy. Yeah, that's we'll take, what we'll take you. That, that's what Lobola mm. kind of means to me. It's like mm. there's guys out there who's working hard to maybe put her in that cage for that girl, but that girl has to be decent. You mm. understand? But if everything is free for all, <clears> then, <throat> hey, bro, mm. are you sure with what you wanna keep? You mm. get what I'm saying? So me, yeah. Lobola, for me, I think mm. it's I believe it. I agree. I agree because mm. um, in my culture. I'm Debella and it's so mm. we have like a long process when it comes to marriage. It's yeah. very long. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's like emphasis on the, the length. Yeah, boy, it's very long. Like my mother literally complained. She's like, I ne. Yo. I should have known yeah. there. Yeah. You know? So however, my dad gave me a perspective into it. He's like, he likes the fact that it's long, no diddy. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Oh, my on. bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah. But the fact, but the fact that it takes time, <laughs> bro. Like, no, like, no, 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 no,
Because mm. the fact that she decided to stay there throughout all the trials and tribulations, throughout all the time, it, all of that, it yeah. means that sh- that she's willing, she's, she's ready willing. to ride. Yeah. She's yeah. ready for the ride. Yeah. So I think now he basically proselytized me to thinking that, okay, I, the longer it is, the better. Yeah, From that perspective, it kind of makes sense to me. Mm. I'm just saying, bro, like it also brings no guarantee. Like I may work yeah. hard, I may prove to you that I can take care of you, do A, B, and C, but that doesn't mean that we're not gonna divorce um later on the journey. You know mm. what I'm saying? So mm. for me it's like thing of So so are you scared of putting money to something that's gonna go? I mean money is tangible, but uh for me to think of um a lot of money then <laughs> 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 also the time, bro. Because mm. the thing is, um I just think that the situation can, can get messy depending on cultural clashes and all so of some that. Some families, like if families like know that you are wealthy, they will like yeah. take out from you. That's the yeah. problem. It's like they take advantage. Yeah. Because like yo, bro, two hundred k. Yeah. That's why. Two hundred k. My mom and I make a joke. I'm saying, mom, I'm not getting married in South Africa. I'm gonna go overseas because I know they. I'm not gonna pay. <laughs> you know when I pay. Maybe I'll pay, but not that much. <laughs> yeah. Fair play, bro. Nice. So you know, like, no, people, 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 looking like no, no. South African. What if your love of your life is like a Zulu woman? And then if it's gospel, by like then I'll, I'll, I'll have the bag. But if it's Zulu, I'm gonna have to. Why, 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 why is Zulu and Penny specifically? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, why no, is Zulu and Penny the same? Okay, yeah. so to you missed Twasa. 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 Okay, how much? How much? How much are you not paying? How much am I not paying? Yeah. To make it easy. Nah, bro. 200k. It depends, plus. bro. Like, nah, this the things. It de- really depends. It does though. sound wrong, man. Because, like, once you put money into it, it's like, hi, bro. If she's still a virgin, even want 200k, she yeah, must still be thing. a virgin. That's another thing. That's another thing. But, like, dog, like, it's, it's stuff like that, bro. Like, because... That, that messes up the meaning. Yeah, yeah. It kind of... Not... Eish. It doesn't mess up the meaning, but it, it you would get to that point of, like, yo, 200k. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, she must have this. She must have and then this. And at least she's saying, that's, I, I put you. That's the you problem. Exactly. That's yeah. the problem. You understand? So yeah. rather let it be a thing of, hey. I'm th- giving thanks to the this family. Is, I'm giving thanks to the family. Raising. This is what I can give. Mm. It's either I get it or I don't. Or I move on. Simple. Damn. Yeah. And that's the thing, Doug. That's, that's this whole love thing. It's a risk. Yeah. Bye, bye, it me. always is. Yeah, you, you now, the, the, the question is, free. if you get your heart <laughs> broken, are you willing to, ri- to build up the courage to risk it again? Uh, the, the last thing as a man is for you to worry about heartbreak. heartbreak. Yeah, rejection <laughs> and heartbreak. Yeah. Okay, so okay, okay, so can I ask a question? Because I can see like we we speaking about like how money and love, the sum or how like yeah they kind of come together mm-hmm. so in, in a way. And it's like, like does true love actually like need money, bro? Like take away everything. What's true bro. love? Like like you know you genuinely love someone. You genuinely, bro. Okay, me personally... Like, like, is money sitting at, like, top three? No, nah, mm. no, nah, me personally, bro. <clears throat> everything is money, dog. What do you mean Everything is money in a sense that, like, you're gonna need money to build a family, build a house and stuff like that. So it's there. Mm. You cannot just be blind to say, nah, it's not about the money. You know? Bro, mm. don't lie to yourself. You <laughs> don't last. No matter how in love you are with this person, mm. you need to be real with yourself and understand that Money to a certain extent must be there. See, but yes. the problem is to the degree of how much money. That's where the problem is. <laughs> how much? Don't don't come tell me about millions. Yeah, we will have the millions, but don't come tell me about millions. Nah, let me know but like the Napoleon. money must be there. The mm. problem is that because bro, everyone has money. Nah. But the problem is like bro, this amount That's of cow. money. So you have ten rand. Eh? Now nah, everyone has money. You have one rand. You know how to get one rand. Yeah, but okay, bro, sure. but is that that's to buy someone? That's not yeah, money. But that's some relationships that have worked with no money things. So ah, no really? Money. Facts, yeah, facts. Bro. What? What? Tell me a relationship that has worked with no money. But, yeah, but now the thing is, but the thing is, but the thing is, the the thing is, they probably had a plan though. Guys, I understand. But me and my chat is, I I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. No, 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 no. I hear 100 percent what you're saying. But now here's my chat. Here's my chat. I'm gonna go back on what we were speaking about back when I was when I was last here. Yeah. The problem is you guys are using money too much as like a thing, as as a as too much of a thing that makes your relationship that's paramount yeah, to your relationship. Saying, yeah, I don't know. I think, think it should just be used as a tool. Yeah, yeah, tool. You see? So, it's a tool to get us from point A to point, to point B, B because that's the society that we live in. Yeah, that makes sense. You see? But, but that doesn't define our relationship, our define, coming together. But you cannot say but you can be in true love with no man. Money you can. Be, <clears throat> no, money is a tool. Bro, like like love. what he's saying. What he's saying. It's a tool. 
But it's not paramount. Okay, okay. Mm. There's a difference, remember. Bro, money, yes, I get it. <laughs> 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 hey, bro, I get it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You love, bro, like, bro, like, you love someone. <laughs> fairly like, yeah, sharp money is that, 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 those times that she's like, oh, damn, nah, bro. Not, like, we're like, not saying that. Nah, 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 nah. Like, I'm saying, like, that's what attracts her, though. Remember, like, that's mm. what gets her there. Yeah, and then everything yeah, else okay, but yeah. keeps her, yeah. like, yes, bro. But I'm saying, like, you can't tell me, like, all this love thing and then like money's like I know so like now when there's no money like there's no more love like nah mm. nah nah I'm not saying that he's saying as a tool I'm saying as yeah, a tool yeah I'm saying yeah, yeah. so I'm saying <laughs> but it's not a, like money's not important in a relationship really? it's just a tool like it is important I've, I've it's another... important but it shouldn't money it the relationship shouldn't be about money dog. yeah, yeah. 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 What I mean. it's not the relationship should not be and, about and, money and, and that means in a relationship money's not important cause that's not what it's about now but it's, it's important okay, yeah. to, to yeah. achieve our goals and no, no, no. I'm saying, but it is important in order to achieve our goals as people, though. And that's and that's where it's important. As say, people. Sorry. As yes. people, yes. Yeah, yeah, Guys, yeah. Money is important to a relationship as it is to just living. living. Right, even exactly. When you are single, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so even when you are single. Yeah, yeah so, <clears throat> so that's what I'm saying. It's so, not yeah, the most important thing in a relationship. No. no. We're all saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. we just have the same thing. Just just in different perspectives. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, like, you think you fall in love and you so, yeah let's say his point is to the point of guys you will not be able to sustain relationships in the same way you can't just sustain your life mm. so without you money right. Mm. right but you can be in love irrespective of money, of money mm. yeah for sure 100 percent. the problem is yeah. to how much man that's the problem because my child is this is this is what i can give you if you want low okay if you want above okay that's not me you understand, but I'm. This is what I can give. Are you accepting it? Yes or no? Yeah. Simple. Don't come tell me. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. yeah, yeah. This is what I'm giving you. Yes or no? Mm. Done. You understand? But money is there. My right, fair play. That's mm. all three, though, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, gents and ladies, let us know what you think in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, don't forget to show talks love as well. You know what I'm saying? Special shout out to him for coming through once again. You guys will see him again in this season, no doubt. Hmm. Um, any other words from the host? Let's not go over the fact that you're also on a podcast, bro. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, for that thing, I nah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Mm. that was actually funny, bro. It happened during my exams, and I, um, the host of the show, we him and I go to the same church, Uncle Tabang, and he just hit me up, and I was like, ah, I'm writing maths, allo, and economics in the same week. But my mom was like, you know, these opportunities, you can't let them slide. So mm. I went there, did my thing. I got good feedback. I enjoyed it. Once again, shout out to Uncle T of the opportunity. Don't take it lightly. Some yeah. literacy. Some mm. literacy. All of them. The, the editor. <coughs> mm. And yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. But once again, that's us. Make sure you like the video. Go to our IG, TikTok. Get the merch. Boys are like, you see where he's got it on. Get the police as yeah. well, you know. You don't got it on today, but you get it on the next episode. You know what I'm and saying? Check out Tox's YouTube account. YouTube Facts. account. And, and his TikTok. And his uh, Instagram. And his YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. go check Tox. And his, and his, and his, his uh, DMs. Uh, oh, George. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Tell me, man. Yeah. Yo, yeah. 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 yeah.